In the last few lectures, we have learned how to insert, update and fetch documents from a collection. Now, in this lecture, let's learn how to delete a document from a collection in MongoDB. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. And currently, I'm in the SampleDB database. Let's go ahead and let's first check what are the collections available in the SampleDB database. For that, we can use this show collections command. And as you can see, in the SampleDB database, we have only one collection called customer. Let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection. For that, we can say db.customer.find. And if I run this command, it will give us all the documents which we have in this customer collection. So currently we have these five documents in this customer collection. And out of these five documents, these two documents has the name as John and this document and these two documents they have name as mark now what i want is from this customer collection i want to delete the first document where the name is john so in this collection we have two documents where the name is john out of those two documents i want to delete the first document where the name is john that means i want to delete this document and here since i want to delete only one document in MongoDB, we have a method called delete one, which we can use to delete a single document from a collection. So let's see how we can use that. For that, first, we need to access the collection, in this case, the customer collection. And on that, we can call delete one method. And to this delete one method, we need to pass a filter based on which it is going to delete the document. So here for the filter, I will pass name as John. Okay. So this delete one method is going to delete the first document which satisfies this filter. So it is going to delete the first document where the name is John. Let's go ahead and let's run this command. So you can see delete count is one. Let's go ahead and let's query the customer collection once more. And now you will notice that from that customer collection, the document where the name was John, the first document where the name was John that has been deleted. And now we have only one document where the name is John. So basically from this customer collection earlier, we had two documents where the name was John out of these two documents. This document has been deleted by the delete one method. Okay. So you will not see that document here anymore. So keep in mind that delete one method deletes the first document from a collection, which satisfies a criteria. Now let's go ahead and let's call this delete one method one more time. But this time for the filter, I'm going to pass an empty object. And when we pass an empty object, an empty document to this delete one method as the filter, in that case, the delete one method deletes the first document from the collection. Now here in this collection, in this customer collection, the first document is this document. Okay. So when we are passing an empty document to this delete one, it is going to delete that document. Let's see that if I go ahead and if I run this command, you can see that one document has been deleted. Let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection once more. And now we should have only three documents. So as you can see, the first document where the name was Mark. So basically this document that has been deleted. Okay. So if you want to delete the first document from a collection, you can use delete one method. And to that, you can pass an empty document as its filter. So this was about delete one method. Using delete one method, we can delete a single document from a collection. Now, if you want to delete multiple documents at a time from a collection, in that case, we have another method called delete many. And using delete many method, we can delete multiple documents from a collection, which satisfies a given criteria, a given filter. Let's see how we can use delete many method. So currently in this customer collection, we have three documents and out of these three documents, the last two documents has the name as Mark. So let's say from this customer collection, I want to delete all the documents, which has the name as Mark for that. We can go ahead and we can use this delete many method. So instead of delete one, now I'm going to use delete many. And for the filter, I'm going to pass this name as Mark. And if I go ahead and if I press enter, you can see that the delete count is two. That means two documents have been deleted because 
in this customer collection we have two documents where the name is mark so both of these two documents have been deleted let's check that for that let's go ahead and let's run this find command on this customer collection and now you can see in this customer collection we have only one document left which is this document so using delete many method we can delete multiple documents at a time based on a given filter now what if if i pass an empty document as a filter to delete many let's see that so now i am passing an empty object an empty document to this delete many method in this case delete many method will delete all the documents from the collection so when you want to delete all the documents from a collection in that case you can use delete many method and to that you can pass an empty document an empty object as its filter so if i go ahead and if i run this command you can see that the delete count is one because in this customer collection we had only one document left and now if i go ahead and if i query this customer collection using this find method it should return us nothing because now in this customer collection we don't have any documents left this delete many method has deleted all the documents from this customer collection when we passed this empty documents as filter so this is how the delete one and delete many method works let me clear the console now just like delete one and delete many we also have another method to delete documents from a collection and that method is remove method and just like insert and update the remove method is deprecated in major language drivers but still since we are talking about deleting the documents i want to show you how we can use remove method for that first we need to add some documents in the customer collection so let's go ahead and let's use insert one method to insert some documents in the collection so let's say i want to insert a document where the name is mark gender is male and age is 27 let's insert one more document where the name is mark gender is male but this time the age is 28 let's insert another document where the name is john gender is male and age is 33 let's insert one more document where the name is john gender is male and age is 32 and finally let's insert one last document where the name is mark gender is male and age is 30 let's clear the console and let's go ahead and let's query the customer collection let's press enter so now we have these five documents in this customer collection now let's see how we can use remove method to delete a single or multiple documents so to use remove method again first we need to access the collection in our case the collection is this customer collection and on that we can call this remove method and to this remove method also we need to pass a criteria so for the criteria let's say name should be john okay so what we want is we want to delete the first document from the customer collection where the name is john so this is the filter now here we only want to delete a single document so for that we also need to specify a second argument and that we need to set to true so here when we specify the second argument as true for this remove method in that case the remove method deletes only a single document so it deletes the first document which satisfies the filter in this case this remove method is going to delete this document because this is the first document which satisfies this filter where the name is john okay so let's go ahead and let's run this command so you can see one document has been deleted let's go ahead and let's query this customer collection again and there you will notice that that document where the name was john has been deleted now we can also use remove method to delete multiple documents for that for the second argument either we can pass false or we can simply omit the second argument if i change the filter as name should be mark and if i go ahead and if i press enter this remove method is going to delete all the documents where the name is mark so in this collection we have three documents where the name is mark so this one this one and this one so all these three documents will be deleted if i go ahead and if i press enter you will see that the delete count is three 
that means three documents satisfied this filter and all those three documents are deleted and let's go ahead and let's check that by calling this find method on this customer collection if i press enter now you will notice that only one document is left in the customer collection and these three documents where the name was mock that has been deleted from the collection okay so in this way you can also delete multiple documents from a collection using remove method now just like delete many if you pass an empty document to this remove method in that case the remove method is going to delete all the documents from the collection let's see that so here to this remove method i am passing an empty document if i go ahead and if i press enter it should delete all the documents from the collection so now if i go ahead and if i query this customer collection it should return us nothing because now there is no document available in the customer collection the customer collection is empty so this is how the remove method works but keep in mind that this remove method is deprecated in major language drivers so if you want to delete documents from a collection you should stick with either delete one or delete many and you should avoid using remove method this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day